Welcome back to my channel, Young Dental Kings and Queens. Word on the street is you may have been accepted to NYU Dental or may have been considering it as a one-stop shop for your dental education. I can feel the anticipation bubbling within you. You're on the verge of living in the greatest city in the world for the next four years? Immersing yourself in a world of endless possibilities while pursuing your passions of becoming a doctor? But before we dive into the details, let me commend you on your hard work and dedication that has brought you to this point. Late nights, countless hours of studying, overwhelming stress of exams, all of that has molded you into a resilient individual, ready to conquer the challenges that lie ahead. Now, you stand at the crossroads, pondering whether NYU Dental is the perfect choice for you, or maybe there's another dental school tempting you with an acceptance. The decision is a big one, and maybe you're looking for an insider's perspective to guide you. Somebody who's went through it themselves, somebody who's graduated and is now a practicing dentist. Somebody who isn't filtered or afraid to tell you the truth. And that's where I come in. Just as a side note, I'm not here to make a decision for you. I'll give both perspectives and I'll make a video on why you should go to NYU Dental, but I want you to make the most well-informed decision possible, one that aligns with your own individual aspirations and values. Your dreams matter, and I'm here to support you throughout this decision-making process. Choosing a dental school is more than just selecting an institution. It's about embracing a life-altering opportunity. And please feel free to reach out to me on Instagram if you have any questions or concerns with your decisions along the way. And without further ado, let's talk about why you may not want to take this opportunity and why an alternative path may be best suited for your specific needs. Buckle up because you're about to hear an alumni of NYU Dental unveil the truth about NYU's College of Dentistry. First, let's talk about the impact of class size on the quality of your education. Picture yourself amongst one of 380 plus students, and that number keeps growing each and every year. Do you really just want to be a face in the crowd? At NYU, the sheer magnitude of the operation can make it challenging to receive individualized attention and personalized education. The faculty to student ratio often falls short, resulting in some professors who may not even know your name. This can significantly impact the level of clinical education you receive. In many cases, the burden of teaching falls on the students themselves due to the limited guidance and instruction from the faculty member. While upperclassmen can offer valuable insight, it often feels like a case of the blind leading the blind. It can be frustrating when your best source of knowledge is someone who's been practicing dentistry for 12 more months than you have. And navigating the dental school politics can also be daunting. Quality of teaching faculty can influence your experience, and you may find yourself choosing specific professors to ensure better outcomes while avoiding others who may hinder your progress. Now, this may be a common issue amongst multiple dental schools, but at NYU, it seems magnified due to the large class size, limited clinic space, and the institution's broader objectives. It's important to question whether NYU truly prioritizes a student's quality of education or has become more focused on maximizing business opportunity. All right, guys, let's talk about the elephant in the room, the tuition fees. The tuition fee is simply ridiculous, making NYU's dental degree the most expensive degree in America. Yes, dentistry can be a lucrative career, but is the education you receive at NYU worth the sky high price tag? It's essential to critically evaluate whether the quality of education justifies the immense financial burden you will carry with yourself with this kind of loan. Take a step back and consider other options, carefully weighing the value you'll receive in return for your investment. From my personal experience, the quality of education at NYU varied significantly among my peers. It often depended on the directors and rules of the clinic you were assigned to. Some directors were more lenient, allowing students to undertake challenging procedures and giving them guidance. Unfortunately, my experience was the opposite. Excessive rules and regulations hindered our education preventing us from gaining the necessary skills we needed. And it can be so frustrating to see such a disparity within the same institution. A critical question to ask yourself is whether NYU Dental truly equips you to become a competent dentist upon graduation. And I'll tell you first and foremost, many of my classmates felt ill-prepared to handle real-world dental scenarios. The lack of extensive clinical experience and limited exposure to complex cases left a lot of us feeling anxious and worried about entering the workforce. Guys, it's crucial to consider how NYU's approach to education aligns with your own specific long-term goals and aspirations. Picture this, 
Imagine being in a dental clinic with 25 other students, a place where you're expected to develop the clinical skills to carry with you for the rest of your life. And at times you're finding yourself waiting in long lines for two or three professors at a time who are managing an entire clinic with 20 plus procedures happening at the same time. It becomes incredibly challenging to achieve your goals and provide that quality of care that your patients deserve. And it's frustrating, just to say the least. But that's not all. The politics at NYU can make your life a living hell. It becomes a complicated maze of favoritism and avoidance where you're tiptoeing around certain faculty members to please them and you're avoiding certain faculty members that you know will probably hinder your progress. At times you're debating on which professor is gonna allow you to have a comprehensive exam swiped off in one visit or is that other professor gonna make you bring your patient back three separate times just to swipe off their medical history so you can begin their restorative work. It's a tough truth, but learning basic dentistry became unnecessarily convoluted. And it's a common issue, I'm sure, amongst many dental schools. I strongly believe that dental school curriculums need a major overhaul, and I'll be making a separate video on my ideal dental school curriculum if I ever decided to open my own dental school. I'm curious to see what your thoughts are on if you can reframe your own dental school curriculum, what classes would you put, what classes would you take out, how would you make it any different? Leave a comment down below. But we need to find a way to implement strategies that maximize our time and truly prepare us for the real world dentistry. Who knows, maybe one day we'll create our own dental school and provide the education that truly empowers future dentists. When it comes down to it, I can't speak for every dental school, but at NYU, I just felt like the faculty didn't care that much about us. It was disheartening to seek guidance and instead receive criticism, which shattered my confidence. We were often left feeling lost and uncomfortable. At NYU, the issues I encountered were not limited to individual incidents. They stemmed from how the administration treated us students as a whole. We often felt unheard and disregarded, especially during the challenging times of my education when the pandemic forced us to go to online and virtual learning. Instead of providing support and encouragement, the administration seemed determined to make us feel inadequate and inferior. I never felt a connection with the administration and some of their decisions just left me baffled. Let's talk about one specific rule that exemplifies the lack of understanding from the administration. If you fail even one class at NYU, you are required to repeat the entire year again. Yeah, I said it. Repeat the entire year again. Can you believe it? This rule applies to any student who scores below a 60 in any course. Why such a harsh penalty for a single failure? It is especially disheartening when you consider the crazy cost of education. You know, during my time there, there was an incident where some 20 students failed a single one credit ethics class in their first semester of dental school. Guys, their entire course grade was based on just one test. We all have moments of struggle, but why punish students so severely? It just left me dumbfounded and, and really highlighted the administration's disrespect for students. I couldn't appreciate many of the aspects of NYU, starting with the curriculum in the first two years. I felt that the first year course load was overwhelmingly didactic, almost like a repeat of my undergrad science courses. And depending on the professor you had, the exams could be extremely challenging and unfair. It became evident that success often hinged on the resources available to you at the time, such as the friends you knew and the groups you belonged to, which allowed sharing of notes and other materials. And for me, this didn't sit well at all. It just created an unfair advantage. Additionally, as a dental school offering specialty under one roof, there was a significant number of patient referrals solely to fuel the postgraduate programs. I found this disheartening because ultimately, we're all paid to become competent general dentists. At times, I couldn't perform a molar root canal or a second molar extraction because those procedures were reserved for the postgraduate department. And I felt robbed of my education at the time. I strongly believe that such decisions should be made on a student by student basis, on merit, right? If you work hard and you prove yourself, you should be able to do tougher cases. Sadly, there was a constant battle among students regarding requirements and the ability to share procedures. Now let's talk about something that can make or break your dental school experience, specialization. If you have dreams of becoming an orthodontist or an endodontist, NYU's large class size might make it more challenging to stand out from the crowd. With 400 students in the class, competition is fierce. Your percentile rank becomes crucial when applying for specialization programs. 
and it's not an easy feat to achieve the top marks in such a competitive environment. One crucial question to ask yourself is whether you think your dental school prepares you to become a competent general dentist upon graduation. And after speaking to numerous of my friends, the resounding answer is no. And the first few months after graduation taught me so much more. It felt like NYU just provided us enough education to prevent us from harming patients and performing basic tasks like a class two filling. Yet within working in my first few months of clinical dentistry, I had performed already hundreds of extractions and dozens of crowns. What was the purpose of attending dental school if the education provided was lacking? While they did teach us proper prep design in the early years, the bench lab instructors often fell short in providing adequate feedback and support. There were a few exceptions, but overall the clinical education at NYU was a letdown. Reflecting on my time at NYU, I couldn't help but question the sustainability of certain individuals as dental school instructors. It seemed that those who failed in private practice or had disabilities or were overly focused on rules and regulations are the ones who gravitated towards teaching students in dental school. However, these qualities don't necessarily align with being an effective educator, which is what we're looking for. Now, this isn't a blanket criticism of every faculty member at NYU, but my clinical education experience at NYU was far from enjoyable at times. First off, let me tell you that dental school was like a roller coaster like no other. The challenges, the triumphs, and everything in between made it feel like an unforgettable chapter of my life. But was it worth it? Ah, the million dollar question, quite literally. The tuition at NYU can make your head spin faster than a dental drill at 40,000 RPM. We're talking a jaw dropping 400 to $600,000 price tag. Trust me, the financial burden is something you need to seriously consider before making this life altering decision. But don't get me wrong, NYU had its moments of glory as well. I was living in the heart of New York City for four years. The vibrant energy, the endless opportunities, it was truly the best time of my life. Let's not forget the worldwide recognition and prestige that comes with an NYU degree. Proud graduate? You bet I am. But the negatives and criticisms about NYU Dental become hard to ignore. When you start going on Reddit, Dental Town, and Student Doctor Network, they're buzzing with discussions about its shortcomings. My friend, every dental school has its pros and cons. It's all about finding the right fit for you. NYU Dental may not be the perfect choice for everyone, but it does have its unique advantages. And in my next video, I'll be highlighting why NYU Dental may be the perfect option for somebody like you, and why you should consider if it aligns with your own goals and interests. I believe in shining a new light on dentistry while showcasing its beauty, but also acknowledging that there's some parts of the journey that need improvement. So if you found this video helpful, please share it with a colleague or friend who may want to see this. And don't hesitate to drop your thoughts in the comments below. If you went to NYU Dental, am I portraying this correctly? Was your experience similar or different from mine? I'm always here to listen and engage with you. If you're at a crossroads and just need guidance on simply what to do in such a pivotal moment in your dental journey, please follow me on Instagram and reach out to me. I'm here to help you make the right decision that's best for you. And stay tuned for more exciting videos where I'll be showing you guys tuition breakdowns, how to pay back those staggering loans, how to get into specialization programs. I'll be interviewing doctors from all around the world for this stuff for you. The adventure is only just beginning, my friends. I am Dr. Rana, proud NYU graduate, signing off for now.